Kid Comic Club by Dave Pilkey. Cat Kid is copyright by Dave Pilkey, and it's published by Graphics, an imprint of Scholastic Inc. Chapter 1 Ideas. Hey guys, welcome to the first meeting of. The Cat Kid Comic Club! Hooray! <laughs> this is Lil Petey. He's the president. And I'm the vice president. How come Molly gets to be vice president? Yeah! Cause I called it first. I got dibs. Rats! No fair! Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, Melvin? Can I be <sighs> vice president too? Um, hi, I want to be vice president. Me too. We can't all be vice presidents. Says who? I'm going to be the senior vice president. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm the supreme vice president. I'm the triple double secret vice president. I'm the national vice president times ten. I'm the universal CEO of Global oh, Vice Management oh, Times oh, Infinity! Oh. You're fired! You can't do that, Daddy! What's going on? Starla fired me. Uh, from what? Um, I forgot. Welp, we're off to a great start. Yep. I fired him from the comic club! Oh, yeah. You can't do that, Starla. Told ya. But he was trying to hog all the glory. She was too. If you kids can't behave yourselves, then Lil Petey is going to have to go home. Huh? Is that what you want? No. Then you'd better straighten up and fly right. Okay. Sorry, Daddy. So if everybody is done being a pain, then let's get started. Thanks, Molly. Today... We're going to work on ideas. So everybody grab a pencil and draw a line on your paper. Like this. Now on the left side, write five things you love. Okay. Now on the other side, write five things you like to do. Sweet. Would anybody like to share their lists? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, Melvin. Behold. Actually, that's pretty good. Now let's all try to think up an idea by using stuff from Melvin's list. Who can write about a dinosaur who likes to brush his teeth? Or a nerd who likes to annoy people. I got it. I'm going to write a comic about a toothbrush named Dennis who wants to be a lawyer. For dinosaurs! I shall call my masterpiece. Ta-da! Huh? Uh, okay. Now everybody be quiet. I'm working. So let's all... Quiet, I said! Uh, okay. While Melvin works on his comic, we thought we'd show you all some... Done! Already? Feast your eyeballs! Dennis the Toothbrush Who Wanted to Be a Dinosaur Liar by Melvin the Frog. One time there was a toothbrush named Dennis who wanted to be a lawyer for dinosaurs. So, yeah. The end. About the author, Melvin the Frog is widely known as one of the world's most important major voices in graphic literature. He has won countless awards for his genius and awesome humility. His awesomeness has inspired countless generations and stuff. Coming soon, Dennis the Toothbrush who wanted to be a dinosaur lawyer too. Cretaceous Court. Hmm. Well, that was dumb. Hey, we do uh, not talk to each other like that, Naomi. But I was just being honest. Do you need to go sit on the timeout, Rock? No. Then you need to apologize to Melvin. I'm sorry your comic was dumb. Ah. <laughs> and so... Worst day ever. Don't worry, Molly. Things will be better tomorrow. How could they get any worse? Chapter 2. We quit. Hey, guys. Welcome to day two of the Cat Kid Comic Club. Excuse me, Molly. Before you begin, Naomi has something she'd like to say. Naomi? Um, well, 
Uh, I'm sorry I said your comic was dumb, Melvin. I mean, it wasn't very good, and... Naomi. But at least you made a comic. I didn't even do that. So I'm sorry for being mean. Okay. You may continue, Molly. All right, guys. Does anybody want to share the comic they're working on? Huh? Anybody? <laughs> Did anybody work on their comic last night? I couldn't think of any good ideas. Me neither. I'm not good at art. Yeah, I can't draw good. So nobody made a comic last night? I tried, but it was dumb. I ripped mine up. I can't spell good. <laughs> um, no offense, but me and Summer quit. Yeah, no offense. Why? Comics just aren't our thing. Sorry, dude. See you later. Wait! <laughs> what is your thing? Summer likes photography, and Starla is a poet. Oh. Well, comics don't have to be stories. It could be poems. Huh? And you can illustrate comics with photos. We, we can? can? Sure. You could work together on a comic. We can work together? together? Uh, yeah. Why didn't you <laughs> say so? We're back in! Let's <laughs> go! I'll write some new haiku. Hmm. And I'll get my camera. Hmm. <laughs> and the rest of you. I'm so disappointed. Fear. 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 You're all a bunch of fraidy frogs. You're scared of making mistakes. You're terrified of messing up. Molly's right. You're afraid to fail. So you didn't even try. If you guys want to be in this club, then you've got to get over your fears. So your assignment for tomorrow is to fail. They want us to fail? Yeah, big time. Um, how? Tonight, I want you all to make a comic that is terrible. Yeah, make a super dumb one. Embarrass yourselves. Mm. I can do that. Me too. I'm good at embarrassing myself. Worst comic gets a prize. Can we work together? Of course. We're gonna, gonna fail together. together. Let's, Let's go, go make, make a lousy comic. comic. Disaster, Disaster, here we come. come. United, United we shall lose. Are you kids sure you know what you're doing? Nope. nope. The comic club is in full swing. And Lil Petey has a new assignment for all the frogs. In order for them to face their fears, they have to fail. Who will come up with the worst comic? We'll just have to find out in the next episode of Cat Kid Comic Club. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. In other words, hit the thumbs up. That's the like. And if you want to see more of our videos, go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell. It'll tell you when more of our videos come out. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next reading.